So, Shadow Heart, I've seen a lot of memes about her not hitting things, and that's because she is, at her base level, really not well optimized in her build whatsoever. She is really not built to hit things very well, okay? I'll explain why, and I'll also explain what you can do to fix that. Although, I, at, at its core, I would recommend that you just immediately respec her, because the subclass she has is terrible, and... Um, her overall point build is just not great, right? So, if you want to keep her as a cleric, uh, you know, you can take whatever you want. I'd always recommend that you take wh whatever cantrips you like, but always, I mean, I'd always say take a damaging one. Sacred Flame is nice, but we'll get onto why Sacred Flame is a problem later. So, Produce Flame isn't necessarily a, uh, a poor option if you want a damaging cantrip because you also don't really want to use Firebolt, and I'll explain that as well, okay? So, I personally would always change her subclass. I like Light Domain, because Light Domain, it gives you a way to make enemies miss, so you can use your reaction to give disadvantage to an attacker, so that's really nice. But also, at 5th level, when you get 3rd level spell slots, you also get Fireball on Cleric. It's really good. I love it. But, if you'd prefer to play her as sort of a frontline tank, you can do that too. War Domain, Tempest Domain, Nature Domain, and Life Domain all get heavy armor proficiency. Uh, so that's always really good. I mean, that's those are those are heavy armor is amazing, especially for your tanks. And then you can focus on your strength, right? So at her base, and you see with the trick domain, Trickery Domain, you know, selected, her stats are balanced like this. Wisdom the highest, because Cleric is a Wisdom class, after all. That makes total sense. Absolutely. After that, her next highest is Constitution. Great. That gives you extra HP, and it means that you've got a better chance of making your Concentration checks really good. The problem comes with the rest of her stats, specifically Strength, Dex, and Intelligence, okay? So, because she is a High Elf, Half Elf, she gets uh, the Cantrip Firebolt. The problem is that it uses your intelligence to try and hit things. You do not have a great intelligence, so you're gonna miss most of your hits, right? Honestly, unless you're respecting her as a wizard, I pretty much would never use Fireball. Now, next up is for her actual physical attacks. Her strength and dex are, for some reason, equaled out at 13, which is really bad. You're gonna want to focus on one of the two of these. Now, if you want to do heavy armor and do a lot of melee attacks, you're going to want to focus on your strength. You want to bump that up as kind of high as you can. I'd, I would completely dump decks there and put as many of them into strength as you can. That's going to help you a lot when you're fighting. Although, personally, I'd actually swap it around and make her constitution. It won't let me do the plus one. I'd personally make her constitution the plus one with her wisdom the plus two. Giving her more HP to start with and again, better concentration checks and then pump the rest of them into strength so she has a plus two. That's what I would recommend if you're going for heavy armor or you want to do a lot of melee attacks because what it's going to do is it's going to give you a plus two to your attacks instead of the 13, which is a plus one. All right, it goes up every even number. It goes up a plus one, right? You do not need dex and strength at the same time. Now, the reverse of that, if you wanted to go more back line, you want to wear light or even medium armor, um, I would instead dump strength and pump it up into dex. It does the opposite where you're better at range. So if you're using bows, crossbows, stuff like that uh, from a back line, you're better off there. Or if you're focusing on using finesse weapons, you could also go with dexterity. The finesse tag on a weapon means that you can use strength or dexterity for your attack rolls and damage. Uh, so stuff like your daggers and your short swords. I personally would pick the light domain. I like that one the most because it gives you fireball. I would have my stats looking something like this. I'd maybe even dump down intelligence as well down to eight and pump that into a 15 of dex, leaving strength, charisma and intelligence low letting other people fill those slots. Uh, alternatively, you may want to go slightly more balanced and keep that dexterity at plus two and keep intelligence at 10. Whatever it is you want to do, that's fine. But the point being, wisdom should be your highest. 
I recommend con as your second, but you can interchangeably choose con and dex or con and strength. So even by doing this, you've increased her ability to hit things quite significantly. I mean, an extra plus one is, is pretty huge. So the reason she's missing all of her attacks in the first place is because she's only got a plus one to her normal attack rules. She can't use fireball very well because she starts off with a 10 in intelligence, which is plus zero. And the main issue is Sacred Flame is just not very good against a lot of the enemies that you're going against at this point in the game, at the start of the game. Um, it is a dexterity saving throw. Sacred Flame requires a dexterity saving throw uh, by your enemy. Most enemies are going to have either at least a 10 in dexterity, meaning they have a plus zero, or they will have bonuses. Very few have negative dexterity, and some of them will even have proficiency in dexterity saving throws, which means they get to add an extra couple of points to that. So they're going to roll pretty consistently, pretty high on their dexterity saving throws. So unfortunately, when it comes to when it comes to uh, Shadow Heart, the Sacred Flame cantrip not very good. Fireball worthless, and she's built for for some reason to have equal strength and dex, even though focusing one of those makes way more sense. So that's why she's terrible when you start playing the game. <laughs> that's why she misses all the time. 100% recommend you go in, you respec her, you pick a different subclass, depending on whether you're interested in having heavy armor with uh, these four here, or if you prefer uh, having fireball, which is my personal preference. That is the way to do it. That's what I'd recommend, and that is how you should rebuild Shadowheart to be much, much better on your team. I never had any problems with her. That's how to do it.